Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Beat to Z. Um, it's been about 11 days since my last video. Um, we're going to do another random inspection now, and it's going to be at my home yard with one of my largest hives that I have going. It's got a pollen trap. It's got a deep that usually has about 9 to 10 um, wall to wall, edge to edge, uh, cap root on it. And it's got two supers that it's it's been on since the summer because they haven't quite um, capped it off yet. So right now it's September 12th. It's about nine o'clock in the morning and the green pepper, the Brazilian pepper, sorry, the Brazilian pepper is actually beginning to bloom now. Um, not all the pepper plants are blooming, um, but they're scattered plants that have the shoots and there are bees that are working the little tiny flowers that are beginning to open. Um, it's amazing how the bees just automatically notice that these blooms are coming and the, the flower is not even open yet and they're already working it. So uh, we're going to come into this hive and it's, I remember I manage my hives with one box. Um, and because I manage with one box, I need to make sure that I'm, I inspect at least every seven to 10 days to make sure that there weren't any swarm kind of uh, ideas on these hives. Uh, remember, this box has got 10, nine to 10 frames of cat brood. It's, um, so I, it's a fine line between letting them grow and them swarming. So adding these uh, supers and keeping these supers on since the summer has been so far keeping me from letting them swarm. And, I, and these, this is how I do all the single boxes. Um, sometimes what I do is if they get 10, box, 10, 10 frames and there's no flow and she's still laying like crazy, what I'll do is I'll, I'll steal a couple of um, uh, frames with brood and I'll throw them into a, another box that's, that I'm still growing out from as a split. Um, so anyhow, um, with that in mind, let's go ahead and open this box up and we'll get right to it. All right, so you can see that we have one super, two super, we have a um, queen excluder there, and then that's the brood box, and then below the brood box, um, I guess I'll show you real quick, we have a pollen trap. Um, we'll open up the pollen trap real quick so you can take a peek at what we got. Um, I emptied this uh, yesterday evening, about six o'clock, 6.30. That's about all we got so far. Again, it's nine o'clock in the morning. So by the end of the day, we should have a lot more pollen than that. All right, All right guys. So got my smoker ready. I have my jacket. I just, I'm wearing shorts and Crocs at the moment. Um, it did just sprinkle a little bit of rain. Temperatures this morning at seven o'clock was about 78 degrees. Um, and again, I just, little sprinkle that we just had that lasted like maybe 15 minutes or so or less actually. Um, so hopefully these guys are gonna be nice to me. So we'll give them a little smoke on the top. Nothing on the cover. We'll open up the inner cover. A lot of bees in the top box, a lot of bees. And I know you can't see it in the camera, but there are a lot of bees. I'm not too concerned about uh, this top box just yet. All I want to do is get right to the brood box. Um, these top boxes were mainly for this guy's actually kind of heavy. Let's see, I guess I'll tilt it to the side and see what they've done so far. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven and a half frames, seven and three quarters of a frame, seven and a half, we'll call it, of nectar. I don't see them capped yet, so we'll just leave that be for now. We're gonna set this to the side on the floor. We got box number two. You can see that there's pretty much some decent amount of bees there. And let's go ahead and get this camera a little closer to you guys. Right now you're looking at the, uh, the second super, just above the uh, queen excluder. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. Yeah. 
And on August 20th, I wrote that it was two and a half frames with uh, nectar in it. Let's see what we got now. They're working the first two. The third one's not much. Fourth one, they're working it. One, two, three and a half. So they added some more. So I'm just going to go ahead and give me a, put a little note on his. Nine, twelve. 3.5 out of 10. So they still got plenty of room to work on this. So the, again, the Brazilian pepper haven't quite, this was much lighter than the other one. They're not fully in bloom yet, the Brazilian pepper. Okay, so now you can see got the Queen of Scooter, a couple little squirts of smoke. I'm gonna let this guy up. A little pop there that they didn't like, they went flying. I'm okay with that. Okay. We'll go ahead and shove all these frames to one side. That's a propolis. Okay. All right. Let's see what they've done. So they started to build this one out a little bit. Got a little pollen in there. Some drones on it. Other side's drone and it's got a little bit of pollen on it. No eggs. Put this one to the side. All right. So, number two. Open this guy up. Let's see what we got. So it's surrounded with um, some pollen, and then the center is larva and some eggs, and the queen is right here at the top. Top middle. Top middle. Right there. There's the queen. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and cage her. And we'll put her into a clip. She is, she's in the clip. Now I'm not gonna have to worry about her getting hurt as I manipulate these frames. So, what I'm gonna do now, other side, here's the other side. We got some cat brood, some pollen. And, Emerging brood. I don't see any new eggs here. Okay, we're gonna want to shake this off. Now that I have the queen inside the cage, I'm gonna shake all of these frames off. So yeah, this is full of larva. Back filling here with some nectar. Okay, so I'm gonna call this one frame a brood. Really more like a 0.5. We'll go to the next one. And the reason I'm shaking all the frames is because, again, we're in a single box, one box. And I wanna make sure there's no queen cells anywhere. One, two, three, we'll shake. So, some emerging brood there. Looks like she's slowed down. There's no eggs here either. Um, we, we do have pollen surrounding on this frame and still some emerging brood. Same on this one, pollen on the edges and some emerging brood. And this one does have eggs. We have eggs in this area right there. Okay, and then again, 
We're looking for queen cells. None. Zero. So I'll put this one down. I've had this, this is the, the pollen trap that I have is a Sundance pollen trap. It's, you can, you can open it and close it as you please. They recommend that you leave it, that you only collect pollen three or four days at a time and then you, you bypass the pollen trap so that they can have some pollen. But another reason for inspecting, or one of my goals today is to see how much pollen they're actually bringing in still past the pollen trap and so far they've have they have plenty of pollen a little shake so we got some brood plenty of cat brood they're not touching the drone the drone cells which is fine by me no queen cells plenty of larvae Okay, so we got another frame. We're going to call this a total of two frames of brood. Okay, go to the next one. I've had the pollen trap collecting pollen now for about a week straight. These guys did have a lot of pollen stored up. So another reason why I left it on so long to see if they can use up some of their stores, but they still got plenty. So a little shake. Another frame of brood. Again, they're not using the drone cells at all. I'm happy about that. So we're gonna call this three frames of brood. I don't see any. I don't see any queen cells. Here's the other side. They're not using the drone cells. It's fine by me. No queen cells. We're gonna call this three frames. A brood moving along there was no nectar no stores on that one that I saw so bees are still being nice they're flying around obviously because I'm shaking them off but they're still being nice no stings yet they're not bumping me they don't seem to be pissed yet a little shake Another frame of brood, so we're gonna call this four frames of brood. I do see pollen on the top. Some cat brood, some emerging brood. Other side, same thing. Lots of cat brood. Plenty of cat brood. And again, they have some pollen on the sides. So I'm really surprised that they still have pollen coming in despite having this pollen trap on for about five days straight, which I'm, I'm happy about. That's great. It's a pain in the butt, so I have to open and close the pollen trap every so often. And then remembering how long it's been open for or closed for, etc. So far, I'm happy that they're bringing in plenty of pollen. One, two, three, a little shake. So some emerging brood, some larva, and eggs. So this is full. This is another frame of brood. This is five frames of brood. This is completely eggs and larva. The whole shebang. Yeah, we're gonna look for cells. I don't see any cells. I, now that the uh, green pepper, green pepper. I keep saying green pepper. Yeah. Anyways, now that the Brazilian pepper is beginning to bloom, there should be a nice flow beginning to start. And with that flow, it should stimulate them to start so that she can lay out the 10 frames again. So she had 10 frames just a couple of weeks ago. And then I, I stole a couple of frames and the following week I stole a couple more frames. So they're building it back out again. I won't be stealing any more frames because they, they had a couple of frames of nothing on it. All right, so a couple of them kind of charged my hand. So that's why I, I pulled away and went ahead and gave them a little smoke. Okay, here we go. 
For those of you who have not been following me, I, I am in, in Florida, South Florida, or Central Florida officially. And here's another frame of brood. We're gonna call this six frames of brood. We're gonna shake these guys off. One, two, a little shake. Another frame of brood. We got some drone cells. So I got some work to do. Oh, I see a queen cell down there. Wants oh, a cup. Let's see if there's anything in it. Some bees trying to. A couple of the girls trying to get in there. They're really trying to work that one. Let's see what they got in there. And it's empty. Empty cell. Okay. So I got some work to do with this guy. There's some more pollen here. More pollen. Um, I say that I have more work because I want to take out. I'm going to cut out a lot of these drone cells. As you can see, I use uh, foundationless frames. So they build what they want. I don't see any of the queen cells. And we have about the same thing on the other side. All the worker cells are full of eggs. Yep. So we're going to call this six frames of brood. You see how nice and tacked, how much bees there are. They're all over all the frames. And this is not counting the bees that were in the two supers. So pretty strong hive. Okay, we're gonna shake this guy. One, two, three, shake. Once again, they're not using the drone side. The worker side is completely packed. Same thing with the other side. And the drone side has actually got some drones in it as well. I mean, some, some eggs and larvae in it as well. Okay. So this one is actually pretty easy to cut out now. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one out from here all the way down. And cut all this drone out. This way they can hopefully, hopefully, build out some more worker cells. I... Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna do this on the side here. Okay, so I cut out all the drone. I still left a piece on, here's more drone. I still left a little strip on the top because that's all mostly worker brood. I'm gonna stick this back in there and they'll build it up by next week. It'll be completely drawn out again. Okay, we got one more frame to go. And then we'll close her up. Little extra activity now going on by the uh, by the supers, which is behind the camera. So once I'm done with this, we'll go ahead and put the supers back on so that there is no more issues. I don't. It doesn't look like robbing activity, but go ahead and shake this guy off. One, two, little shake. There you go. And then here we do have again. There's more pollen. Plenty of pollen. Not plenty, but I mean, just they're pollen. So pollen is spread out through the entire hive. Here's plenty of pollen. Look at that. Look at all that pollen. So for right now, this hive is strong enough where they're bringing in enough pollen and still able to bring in through some through the through the uh, through the pollen trap. The pollen trap doesn't trap every bit of the pollen they're still gonna be able to pull some through. And that's okay. I want them to be able to pull some through still. Okay, so we're gonna close her up. Start the closing process. I'm just gonna push these guys over. 
amazing what all these guys can do. Bees are just amazing. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now. I really appreciate all the support. Um, I'm up to 90 subscribers. Only 10 more to go to get to 100. So share this video across the social media. And if you like my video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this, uh, the first one back right, right where it was. Right here. I give it a little shake as I go down so that the bees can kind of sort of move out of the way. I know where the queen's at, she's in the clip, so I'm not too worried about her, but I don't want to piss off any more of the bees. I've shook all the frames, so they're not happy about that. I'm giving them smoke, they're not happy about that. So you don't want to kill any if you're, you can avoid it. So that you don't upset them any further. All right, I'm just gonna center the, uh, all the frames. Frames are centered, nice and tight. I'm gonna grab the queen, I'm gonna look at, open it and see where she's at. There she is. And I'm just gonna watch her to make sure that she goes down. There she goes, down she goes, down she goes, down she goes. Shake these guys off and set this to the side. Okay, so I'm gonna smoke them one more time. I'm not a big fan of smoke. But I'm also not a big fan of killing a bunch of bees when I'm putting the, the equipment together. So I try to do my best to try to get them to go down. So here we go. We're going to slowly get this guy in there. Okay. Excellent. We're just going to slowly and jiggle it down. Good. Okay. How the bees flying? They're not happy right now. I'm going to start putting the supers back. Like. Once again, it's gonna slowly put it down, kind of bump it up and down, try to get these guys to move out of the way. Okay. We're good so far. We got one more box to put. This is the heavy one. Put back on the inner cover. There's the inner cover. And then put back the top. And then I'll put my notes on here. So today is September 12. She had seven frames. I saw queen, eggs, larva, and pollen. And no queen cells. Okay, so I moved the camera away from them just so I can go ahead and do my, my outro here. So, so you saw Random inspection today. There was seven frames of brood. We saw the queen. We saw pollen. I showed you that they still had plenty of pollen despite having the um, pollen trap on for like five days straight, at least. I showed you what's inside of my pollen trap this early in the day. And <clears throat> we went ahead and cut out some drone comb because they had lots of drone combs scattered around and on one frame it was pretty easy to cut out like half the frame for that drone comb this way they can draw out some more uh, worker comb okay so once again thanks for watching another video of b2z and don't forget to subscribe like and give me a thumbs up spread the word follow me on instagram b2z and follow me on facebook b2z uh, we have the Brazilian pepper that's coming, so this one hive here in my home is my only honey hive or bigger, bigger hive right now. The rest of them are all splits. I have like 30 other splits. Um, and if you guys like, comment down below. Let me know if you guys want me to do some inspections on the uh, splits. Um, so right now I'm going to wrap this video up and then I'm going to head out to one of the out yards and go check out those hives, see how they're doing um, and add some boxes if needed. So. Okay, 
Again, thanks again for tuning. Until next time, take care.